they're easy they're and they're fun like I said each one has a personality of their own so while we're doing let me show you um, you guys can think of fabric as I'm doing faces let me show you fabric so now this one if you look up close can you see those little all those little flowers that honestly was this and I just stamped on it okay and that's how I got that little tiny little flowers in there for that dress so but this won't be a fabric of choice see and I show you how you can stamp on fabric look at how cute that is that would be cute but I didn't do the whole thing but we'd have this fabric which I don't know that that would be a favorite of mine we have this sort of dusty kind of green aren't they cute they are cute and they're gonna be fun Debbie thank you so much for passing me on and happy Valentine's Day all right we've got this pink but I think if we do pink I would rather we're gonna put that one down I would rather do this if we're gonna do pink okay um, I've got a teal The one I am going to use for sure is this because I've got some red trim. So we're going to have a fancy one, a fancy, goofy looking doll. All right. I also have some of this one or I have this one. So you guys think about what colors you would want. And we're going to go ahead and start doing the faces. Now you can do the faces with permanent marker. I would not recommend if it's not permanent because... Um, it just might it, it smears a little more um, I'm using a brush I found I had a little better luck with it and my paper towel so you know what no I need that down I'm gonna grab paper towel I thought I had everything by me I didn't could you Grinch the Grinch the fabric do you mean um, coffee grunge absolutely you can grunge the fabric and I could have grunged this fabric and I didn't but absolutely and I have coffee grunge in the fridge I'm not just I'm not gonna get it out tonight and dry though but you can do anything you what, what you want are you going to the Sheboygan before March um I'm not sure I was just there why is that Debbie all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You need such a tiny little paint. All I'm doing is eyes and cheeks and um, maybe eyebrows, not necessarily eyebrows. So um, we're going to use a little bit of black. Brown with bright colors. That would look 70s. And you know, I have... An orange polka dot that would be gorgeous like underneath it like as a petticoat I have an orange polka dot over there too uh, like a, a dusty like the oranges in here over there that would be really cute too that would I didn't practice a double one like with a petticoat that would be cute to practice all right we're just gonna get this little bit of black we're gonna put eyeshadow on our little dolls. They're gonna be cute. So again, as you're hopping on, make sure you say hi. Let me know you're out there. Pass me on if you like. And emojis all help. All those hearts help. Um, spread the word that we're out there. Maybe we get more hopping on. Oh, Debbie, see, and I, I don't go in there. I saw somebody use one of them though yesterday, I think, right? All right, so I'm just using a fine tip. And if you mess up, you use another bead. So let me show you the beads I'm using. I don't even know what size they are. Do I have another bag here of them? Um, I honestly don't even know what size they are. I could tell you by measuring a little bit i have a tape measure here because we're going to measure the fabric so if i hold this up on here i'd say this is about a little more than a half an inch it's probably about a five eighths inch and it has the bigger hole 
that's going to be important if you want to use jute, which is what I'm using tonight. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, Linda. I'm glad you're not a silent watcher anymore, Linda. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so now if I mess up on the eyes, I'm just going to turn it around and do it on the other side of the face. All right, so first one, again, each one can be their own little personality. If you do, again, use, you could use little fine tip markers. I would recommend permanent. And some of these would be, like this is not, this is not finished at all. It may bleed a little bit. So just, just try it, okay? And all I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to do something different. Uh, let me show you an easier way to make. Now look at the eyes on this one. Isn't she cute? She's cute, right? That's why I told my hubby. Isn't she cute? She's cute. All right, I'm going to use a stylus. Now you could use the back of a paintbrush. I want to see what size dot this is going to make though. Yeah, that's a good size. Um, you can use a back of a paintbrush. You could use a toothpick. Things are always hard. I appreciate it. Um, so anything to make that point. So what I'm going to do is just dip it in. I'm going to make a dot. And dip it in again and make a dot here. The dot isn't quite as big. All right, and I'm just gonna take this finer one and I'm gonna drag it out. We're gonna see if that works. Or you, you can use a paintbrush. Yeah, I'm gonna end up using a paintbrush, I think, but no, we can do it. I'm just dragging out with a fine one because a brush, if you press too hard, it's going to be, it's gonna make it sort of funny. I do think I need it a little bit bigger though. Again, if you mess up, turn it around. And I'm just going to take my brush now and drag that out. And I'll show you in just a second. Again, you can use a finer tip. I'm just trying to make this a, a good size. Hello, Belle. Okay, you can use the stylus and you can do the same thing. But I like using a brush. To look more even. Okay, there's the start of her eyes. Now the other eyes, I need to pick the top over here. The other eyes, we're gonna just set her up, her dry a second. These eyes will do a little rounder, and then they may they may not be perfect when I do them. All right, they may not be perfect, but we're gonna try. They might keep getting bigger and bigger, and then I'm gonna turn it around and do it on the other side. All right, and I concentrate when I do this. Oh, that, those are actually pretty good. I have a really itchy nose tonight because I've been working with that jute all night. So this isn't going to be a pretty night. If you follow me for a long time, you know that me and jute do that. Okay, so these are the eyes for this one. And these are the eyes for this one. And it dries, honestly, really fast. So I'm gonna do the cheeks first, then we're gonna do the white of the eyes, and I think I'll add the eyebrows on the one. Okay, let me find my dish. I got so much stuff over here by me. All right, Linda, hello. Um, all right, so I use blush. And I'm using eyeshadow tonight too. So that I got a little brush in here for that too. 
this, this, all kinds of stuff. All right. We are making, all right, if you're hopping on late, we are making these cute refrigerator magnet dolls. Each one can have their own personality. So I'm doing two of them. Here's one. And you can put something in their hands. You can put something in their hands and let it hang down. And here's the other one. Now, if you look, I have faces on the other side because I was playing with them. But look at how cute they are. Look at how cute they are. So that's what we're making tonight. Hello, Melissa and Robin. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. So I hope you like them. All right, I'm just using a Q-tip with some blush. I'm doing some cheeks. Now, I'm not doing any noses or any mouths. We're just doing eyes. You can do what you want. It would be cute, like, with little red lips on the one that I'm going to... I For sure, I'm going to do the one with the black, the bright black and the white. That'd be cute with little red lips, but I think I would wreck it. So, I didn't practice lips. Thank you. Aren't they cute? And they're, they're honestly easy. We're going to make these cheeks a little bigger. Like I said, each one can have their own personality. You just make them, make them the way you want. All right, so literally I just added blush to each one of them. All right, next, I think we're going to do, we're going to do the eyeshadow next, and then we'll do the white of the eyes. And then we'll, we'll also add a little white on the cheeks. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, thanks, everybody. All right, so I'm just... Just using, I'm going to use some blue eyeshadow. And you don't have to be picky. Just wipe it above the eyes and I'll show you. It's not going to be dark on here, but you're going to see it. It just makes them a little fancier. Right? And it'll it'll look cuter when we get the white of the eye in, I think. All right, this one just needs a little bit because these are littler eyes. I love these eyes. Can you see that blue on there? Just a little, just a little bit. Oh, absolutely, prayers for the people in Michigan. Ugh, that's just heartbreaking. It's it's heartbreaking. All right, that's that. Okay, let's go back, and we're gonna just we're gonna use the very little stylus, I think, and we're just gonna use white. I'm going to just do a dab and see how big that is. And I'm just going to do it on the inside of the eye. Look at how cute she is. And we're going to do a little dab on each cheek. All right. So that's this one. Oh, we're, we're going to add some eye, eyelashes, though, to this one. We're going to try make them very little or an eye um, eyebrow. Again, if you're good, do it with magic or a permanent marker. There, that's the face for that one. That one is done. We're going to set her in here to dry and let's do the pupils on this one. There were shootings again yesterday, Cindy. That's what was going on there. So um, it, it's very sad. So, okay. Eyeballs on this one. And we'll do the cheeks. And like I said, I'm not putting on noses and I'm not putting on mouths, but you can do what you want. I mean, I just think these are just cute like that. Thanks, Carla. All right, so those are 
the mouths and or those are the faces yeah they're very tiny to paint but like i said if you mess up turn it around you got another side there honestly i was practicing look at the back side <laughs> look at the back side nobody even knows it's there unless you give them as a gift all right i'm just gonna set these Oh no, I need these though. They need to dry. Oh, I can set them here for a second because we're going to do the fabric now. We're going to get that out. All right, so we started with those two beads. Aren't the faces cute? Yeah, they're adorable. And they were easy, right? They honestly were easy. I, I love the styluses. I've had these, oh gosh, probably, probably 20 years probably 20 years but you can get them like at a craft store somewhere okay fabric what kind of fabric do we want ladies I am going to do a fancy one with this and red we've got brown we've got the homespun we could do teal this fancy teal or this dusty green or a bright pink Throw some out there and just put a bunch of comments out there. Tell me what one you like, and I'm just going to pick one. All right, for sure we're doing the black because, like I said, we're going we're gonna to do fancy, fancy, rustic kind of funky. Dusty teal. Teal. Ooh, I got two teals in a row. A homespun pink. We have all kinds. Throw a bunch out there. Throw a bunch out there, and I might take a majority here. I might take a majority. Keep throwing them. Keep throwing them. Almost ready. All right. You know what? Because... Because this is bright, I mean, even though it's black, it's bright. I, I do really like the idea of this one too. But, um, oh, I'm so confused. Pink for Valentine would be cute. Homespun. Um, you know, something like this would be really, really cute. All right, so let me just think of the beads that I'm using for the, for the legs and the arms are in here. Let me just hold them up for sure. That'll be okay with that. Let's, um, hello, hello, you really like the black? Yep, yep, we're do definitely doing the black. I think because this is going to be completely different than those, we're going to go with this. Because each one has to have its own personality, right? So we're going to go with that. This would be fun. This would be fun. I have an orange fabric over there that would be fun as underlay on, under this. That would be really, really cute. But I think I'm not going to do it because I didn't practice it. All right. So the size material, material that you need is 9 by 5. Okay, for this size doll personality plus exactly yeah and you know and blue one would be cute yeah or that's a teal but I did this one in blue earlier so that that was a completely different fabric you know so no I like I will try something bigger like this okay so I need a, a five by nine and I'm gonna tear it so we're gonna start I think we'll be able to tear it this way Okay, and by nine. Now I've got a bad piece here. We might be able to use this for a ribbon, so we're going to keep that. By nine. I'm trying to think of what kind of trim I have for this one. All right. 
So we got that one. Let's do a five by nine on this one. So make sure you guys keep on commenting, keep it going. Spread me on if you like. Appreciate it all. Emojis all help. Just keep the comments coming. I'll make sure that, you know, I really try and look at them all of what Facebook shows me. They don't let me respond on a lot, but I really try and see as many as I can. All right. So I appreciate you guys. Um, all right. So let's do a five again. Now, I'm not sure if this is a straight. It looks pretty straight. Okay, let's go five inches this way. Oh, you know what? I like that side. No, that's okay. I'm talking to myself here. Okay. So five inches by nine inches. I did do the blue one with 10 inches. It just seemed a little big. It, it just seemed a little big with gathering it. So just that one inch, I think, is going to make a difference. I think, I think, I think. All right, so let's, let's trim these up first. I've got this cute... Oh, I've got something fancy for this one, I think. Um, I've got this cute little red rickrack that I think is going to be adorable along the bottom here. So I've got the fabric tack. I also have my hot glue gun here, but for now I'm going to use this fabric tack because it sets up really fast. I'm just going to lay it on here. Um, Kathy, we are making these cute refrigerator magnet dolls. So, all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to do a fine bead, probably about a quarter of an inch up. It helps because you can follow the dots. It isn't even a quarter inch. We're going to just lay this on here. And I've got it off the sides. I'm just going to dab it a little. And this fabric tack dries completely clear. That's why I like it. If you use the Sure Bond on this, I mean, it, it's definitely coming out around the sides of it, but you're not going to see it. Okay. I think grunge on fabric would make absolutely grunge. Like I said, the grunge on here, like I stamped on this one, but I could have grunged it also. It would be so cute. You, There's so many different things you'll be able to do with this. Honestly, there'll be so much. I would love to see all of your guys' dolls. Join Crafty Servings Crafting Club. It's a free group off of my page. So Crafty Servings Crafting Club. As you make these dolls, post pictures. As you make anything, post pictures, okay? Kathy is on here. You see Kathy commenting. She's my administrator on there. She does a wonderful job. And I mean, I try and get on as much as I can to see what y'all are making, but just inspire others on it. All right, so this is the start. And let's do a trim on here. Now, I think, now that's gonna be for after. Let me just see what I've got here. You know, I had the Rick Rack on that one, but this Rick Rack might be cute on here. Let me just see what else I got. Oh, I got something that might be cute. Hello, Sherry. Um, look at this green one. Let's pull that out. These batches of ribbon that I have in here our ribbon there's just so much i don't even need to take it all out 
these are batches that I just bought at Hobby Lobby. So this was one batch that you that you got. Um, there was a, like a brown kind of batch. There was a black and black and white one. And you get and it's such a variety in here. It's such a variety. So I think we're going to use that that bright green. You had a hard time finding me, Jenny. Oh, that's not good. I don't like when that happens. All right, let's get this fabric tack. Yeah, and Kathy loves seeing what everybody makes, and, and she's loves crafting herself. Um, she does amazing needlework. But yeah, just go out and join Crafty Servings Crafting Club. All right, let's leave this one on here. And you could just use plastic wrap or something too over the top of it if you don't want to get it all over your fingers. But honestly, this fabric tack, if you didn't see this, it dries so clear and it just and quickly, honestly, quickly. This one is really almost dry. Okay, let me just snip that off. Okay, we got them done. I think we can get this out of our way. You're welcome, Kathy. You're welcome. All right. So this one I'm going to use now to you can use um, different things to um, to gather them. This one I like using embroidery thread. So this one we're going to use the red on. Just make sure that's all done. And honestly, like I said, this one's dry already. That's how fast that fabric tack. I mean, there's a little tacky in some places, but it really dries fast. All right, this one let's use. No, I don't like that. Maybe we use that orange on this one. I'm just looking for something a little more muted. Maybe that one. I like this one on here. This will be really cute on there. So we'll do that. Retro material. You know, it really does look 70s, right? It really does. So it's going to be cute, 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 cute. All right, and you don't need much of this string. So we'll gather up this one first, and then we'll gather up that one. I got glue on me. Oh, you think you have that material? You think you have this? I've honestly had it probably for at least a year, maybe two. I'm just trying to get this glue off my fingers. All right. And then you need sort of a sharp needle, but it has to be big enough. If you're using this embroidery thread, it has to be big enough to get that thread through it. Okay, and you don't have to knot it if you unless you're afraid you're gonna gather it too much. But um so let's see, I just want to picture how I want it to gather. I pull this. I just want to picture because when I gather it, I want to make sure these edges are down. I think, yeah. Um, it's going to be like that. Just going to pull it. I'm just picturing what it's going to be. Let's do a couple. And all I'm doing, well, oh, and actually, I, I've got to, so fold this top because that's going to give a gathered edge. Fold it down maybe about about half inch maybe a little little more and I am going to start at the back I believe and 
I'm just running with the needle straight across. Now I'm going to watch from the back, do it from the back. Just pull it, don't pull it all the way out. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna thread this through to the back and then go. I just wanna make sure when it, again, when I gather it, Yeah, I think that'll be good. If not, it'll still work. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, right? All right, so <laughs> that's what I said not to do. If you knot your string, that wouldn't happen. I was not paying attention. <laughs> All right, let's start that again. Let's start it again. <laughs> but I don't usually knot it for something like this. We'll just go through. And I do like seeing it from the back, so that's what I was actually doing. So that I can see how far it's folded. So I'm just gonna work on this back side. And you just go down and up with your needle and it's called a gathering stitch. And I'm probably about a quarter inch down and I have it folded maybe about a half inch, three quarter inch, something like that. Um, the one thing you could do is wait to trim it on the bottom like I already put the rickrack on and stuff. You could wait to do that in case you feel it's too long for what you want. But if it's too long, I can always just rip it off and do it again. Um, but so that would be the other thing is you could trim it when you're done. Okay, and just all the way through, just do several stitches. It doesn't take long. And then we're gonna put it together. So make sure as you're coming on, please say hi. Let me know you're out there. Um, give me some emojis. Tell me where you're from. Let me know if you're having a nice Valentine. You like the black and red? I think that's going to be really pretty. Like I said, I did a light blue. I did the off white with the stamping on. So I wanted these two to look different than the two that I practiced on, which I showed you already. And again, we're just gathering this all the way across. And you do want to use trim. I mean, you can try and glue it, but I don't think it would work very well gathering it. So you definitely get a needle and thread out. Um, if you sew, you could do a gathering stitch on there. Okay. All right, and I did start with it in the back on both sides because I think when I gather it then it's going to keep those outsides in the way I sort of want it. If it doesn't work that way it still will be fine. All right let's just do this red one up and then we'll start putting the dolls together. Can you show the sample again for people? Sure. This is one of them. This is one where I stamped on fabric and I just did some little trim and each one is going to have their own personality. I've got magnets on the back. Don't look at the face. That was practice. All right. And then this one. All right. And they're just fun. You can play with their hair. You could use yarn, but I just think these are fun. I love the jute and I'll show you that. So um, again, each one do, can have their own personality, their own kind of dressing, their own faces. You can have a lot of fun with this. All right, let's get this red one going. And decorating it, it could be different on every one of them. Thanks for those hearts. Appreciate it. Okay. Just thread that through again. This is embroidery thread. A lot of times when you use embroidery thread, you separate it and use like maybe um, 
like half, like sometimes it says three strands or two strands. I used to embroider, um, but this I'm using the whole thing. Okay, so again, we're going to turn this top over and work from this way. And just go all the way across with the stitch so that we can gather it. If you're afraid you're going to pull it out, like I said, you could put a knot at the end. I'm going to try not pulling it out this time. You could put a knot at the end. It's not going to hurt anything. Isn't this one going to be cute? It's going to be cute. We'll have to decide what face that I painted already. So if you're on late, I already painted the faces. Uh, we have to decide what face with which fabric. I think we're going to put, I don't know, they just look a little bit different. Thank you for passing me on and sending me around. I appreciate that so much. To any, you know, this would make such a perfect gift for any lady any any anybody who has a refrigerator um any lady who has a refrigerator a guy wouldn't appreciate this unless you dress them up like a guy but then you'd have to make pants for them but this would make such perfect gifts hostess gifts um they go together so quickly just little gifts as somebody comes to the house and you want to give them a little something. Diane, thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate it. Um, it, it just, they'll make you smile when you see them each time. So make some of these for gifts. All right, so almost through. And then I'll show you these fabric again and tell you the sizes in case you hopped on late. Okay. Don't lose that needle. Okay, we're done sewing though. All right, so this fabric is nine by five, okay? Nine by five. It was, um, and then we folded it over. So it was five inches and then we folded over that top because this is gonna be the top of it. The bottom I, I leave rough. Okay, you can finish the bottom if you want to. Aw, Robin, that's awesome. Um, and then this one too. So again, they're nine by five. Let's get our heads out here. Where are our heads? And we can do them, we'll do them both together. So this was one head we painted up. And I also, so honestly, the eyes were with black paint and little dots of white. I use blush on the cheeks. And if you look close, you can see that little bit of blue. That was eyeshadow. This one has a little more blue on it and the eyes are a little bit different. So each one, again, can have their own personality. I did not put noses and mouths. Now the one that I put on here would look really cute with like a red, just a little red circle mouth. Wouldn't that be cute? I might go and get paint when we're done and put that little, just a tiny circle mouth because I think red, like red lipstick, only I can't do it as lips, I would just do a little circle. I think that would be cute. Yeah, they would make great gifts. All right, so let's, um, let's get our jute out. So the jute I'm using, I believe this is three ply. And honestly, make it probably maybe about 12 inches. But you can trim it up when you're done if you want. Um, you can always trim it. But I would do, yeah, this was about 12. I would say that's probably about close to what I did. So you need four for each doll or whatever is going to fit through, honestly, through these holes. It, they have to fit. It's so windy here. It's, I can just hear the wind whistling out there. Okay. 
Thank you, Robin. Yeah, these, I mean, again, these would make just awesome, cute gifts for anybody that you want to make smile. Bring them to work for someone, whatever, for something on their file cabinet. Wouldn't that be cute? I'll have to bring one and put one on my file cabinet at work. Or there's, maybe there's a girl I want to give it to at work. It's windy by you too, Kathy. All right, so again, each one will take four of these, of, of this ply. You know, some of it is feeling thinner than what others is. As, it, as I'm going in, it's, some of it is thinner. But it should still, if I need to, I'll do five. But I think I can get away with four. All right, so I'm just gathering up all four together or whatever will work for you and see if they fit inside. Do you see where we're going with this? All right. That one, so let's gather these up. And it should be a nice tight fit. I mean, I honestly, some of this was a little thinner, but... It'll, I think four will be perfect. Yeah, I, it's, is it windy? Yeah, it sounds like it's windy in a lot of places, huh? Yeah, I can just hear it howling out there. But it actually, I mean, it was rainy today, but it wasn't too cold. We've had a crazy, crazy winter. All right, and let's just slide this through here. Aren't they cute? Cute, cute. All right, so we're going to do untwisting on the hair. And I can comment while I'm doing that. You can absolutely have them on a shelf. So my other thought too, like even if you had like a wood spool, you know what? If you had a smaller wood spool, but I've got these big wood spools. These would be so cute sitting on there wouldn't they be they'd be so cute sitting on these wood spools well, you know when the ribbon's off of there i can't wait to use all these ribbons so that that i have those spools and i'm not going to take it off and until i use them i have another a gray one that's gorgeous i've used on several things all right let's see some comments how are you guys doing it's going to take me a minute to untwist the hair on both of these. Thank you, Sue. Sherry, thank you so much for passing me on. I appreciate that so much. You know, if you keep passing me on, so I always do random act of kindness at the end. If you keep passing me on, I'll do two of them if I get up to 100 tonight because it's been a while since I've been at 100. I, I mean, it's there's so many people out there crafting now. I get it. everybody's watching everybody, um, but if you pass me on, that's how it's gonna do it, and then we give away two. All right, let's just keep on twisting here. Good, Robin. Thanks, Diane. Right, Catherine? And like I said, any gifts, any any gifts for anybody. I said, and to put on a refrigerator, I can put them on my wood on my fireplace behind me too, because that's metal. They're just gonna make you smile. Like I said, your workplace on a file cabinet, something like that. The guys can just look the other way. Thank y'all for passing me on. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. All right, and you guys keep eye if it does get up there. We're at 60 right now. If we get up to that 100, we'll do two happy mail. We'll actually do one right away at 100, and then we'll do one at the end. Overcast. Okay. So this is this one. Are they just, they're just cute. And you sort of pull them even. Some of them like getting away from each other. Okay. 
That's one. Let's do this one yet. So do you guys have anything special to eat for Valentine's? We had leftover, or Mr. Crafty Servings had a le leftover brat, and I had popcorn for supper. <laughs> that was our special. It was either that or leftover chili that I took out of the freezer. Yeah. Oh, I miss it. Valuation. Oh, I miss it. It just totally went. Something with cookie cutters. Oh, I'll try and see that after. Awesome. Thank you, Denise. That's what your hair looks like when you wake up. <laughs> I tell you, some days mine are too. And why do you think I wear hats sometimes? Right? Oh, ham and cheesecake. Oh, yummy. What kind of cheesecake? Is there a flavor to it? Right, almost done. See, Kathy, it's, you, know, you don't have to be fancy, right? You guys are funny. Your hair all looks like this week, you know. <laughs> oh, I tell you. So, make one your personality. Oh, they would be so cute on a gift instead of a bowl, too. Uh, like I said, I want to see y'all making these, and I want to see you posting pictures on Crafty Servings Crafting Club. All right, I want to see all those pictures. All right, almost untwisted. This is almost all. We just have to do a little untwisting later, not much. Just on the hands and the feet. There. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so now I'm going to take just a little piece of jute just to tie them. It's thick. Okay, a little piece and a little piece just so that doesn't pull out because that'll be hard getting it back in so I'm gonna do the knot to the back and we'll figure out what we're gonna put for the head on the one I just put a bow on the front the other one I did sort of like a um, I don't know what do you call these that was sort of a fun one that I did this one I did just a bow on the front so we have to figure out what we want on the front of these Mr. Crafty Servings thought I was crazy when I was making these. He did. He just smiled <laughs> and shook his head. Hey, whatever. I said they're cute. So they're going to be on our refrigerator for a little bit. All right, where's my other little piece? And I'm just tying it right above the head um, just to hold it so it's not going to fall down in, in that it won't fall down into the hole and we lose it. So we don't want to lose it. So hey guys, look at it. A bandana. That's it. That's it. This reminds me like, like of a Southern girl, like, you know, like a southern girl, like a headband kind of, not headband, but yeah, like bandana. All right. Now, if you want, you could do a bunch of these and hang them on a tree even. So what I just tied these off like this with another piece. You could honestly tie a knot on here and then you could hang them. All right. So that's the other idea is you could hang them up if you wanted. Um, just use that piece. Now, I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to cut those pieces off because they're not going to, oh, you know what? I was going to say, will they blend up in there? That will make even a fuller head. Yeah, they're, they're not going to hang in there right, so those I just cut down. If I thought they'd hang up there okay, I would. Okay. Let's start putting... Okay, we're going to do the arms first, then we're going to do the dress, and then we'll do the legs. So, now I've got different beads. The, the beads, I you can see, the beads I used on this one, I'll use on one of the dolls. And then I also have these beads. You know, so fine beads, they have to have a large enough hole. I might actually use these on both, unless I have. Okay, so I have those beads. I also, I've been using these. 
um, I don't know if you can see, they have like a texture to them. I've been using these for the hands. You see that texture on there? So that's my hands and the, the feet. I did use these for the one. Um, we'll see if I don't have enough the other. And then I have a bunch of just brown ones. So these, these I've been starting with the shoulders, but there's no rhyme or reason what you use. They just have to have that big enough hole to fit through, to fit through these. So I'm going to take four of these right now, make sure the holes are big enough. If not, get that bead reamer out, which I have here just in case. Those two are good. That one's probably good. That one looks good. Okay, so we're going to start with the arms. So you're just going to take two of these strings. Thank you, Dawn. It's really getting warm in here now, too. This sweater is warm. Okay, so you're going to slide one on one string and one on another string. These are the start of our dolls. These are going to be the shoulders. We're going to work on both dolls at the same time. It doesn't matter what ones you use because you can just pull them to the side. It, it really doesn't matter. You'll see, you'll, they'll fall into place where they need to go. If you need to add a little glue at the end of the string, go ahead and do that or tape. I find, now I said this that last time and then I struggled getting it in, that if you just sort of twist it, it seems to go right in. All right, so we got our shoulders. Let's get some of these out. Now, not all of these, I'm going to just dump a bunch of them. Not all of these in the container have these large holes in. So like you can see some of these have little, but then we've got these have larger. Um, I actually, on this one, I used one of these for the front of the dress. That's what I used on the front of there. But so I'm just going to pull out some of these that have the larger. And then I know these here have larger holes in also. So I don't know why they have different sizes in the same container. So we're going to put two on there. Let's see if we've got two more of them. Probably not. I've used this for other things too. All right, so we'll probably... Um, We'll add some more of these in here too. I said some of these are way too skinny. Okay, let's just let's just go with it. All right, let's add some of these. Thank you for passing me on. Like I said, if we get up to oh, we're not gonna get up to a hundred. <laughs> it we dropped some. So um but We'll do, we'll do a random act of kindness at the end. And just feed them through. You want the, the arms similar on each side. So we'll just add that. Let's add one of these little ones in. Just to make cute. And again, you can use all different beads and each one again would give its own personality. Um, Thank you, Diane. You know, you see all kinds of little dolls on Pinterest too. You know, you just do your own take on them. All right, let's do sort of like, oh, there are extra of those. Okay, we got that. Let's do um, another. There was one I was wondering. These would be really cute, almost like for a shoulder also, but I don't think they had a large enough hole for it. Okay, so we got that. Let's add another one of these. You don't need too many on for these arms. Okay, 
you gotta make the dolls, right, Carolyn? You gotta make the dolls, Carolyn. Um, all right, we got that. Let's add another one of these. And then we'll add the hands. Okay, in the hands, I've been using these little ones that have that little ridge on. Again, just use what you can and use something that has a big enough hole in it. String that through. Can you hear that wind? Can you hear that? It, it is loud. All right. Okay, so this is going to be the arms on the one. Let's finish up the arms on this one. Let's see if there's something else I can use on an arm. Let's see if I can get one of these to fit. Because this would be really cute. I think, though, if it doesn't fit on here, it's not going to fit. I think it's going to fit. Let's just see. Maybe I have skinny enough arms here. Because this would be really cute. It would look like a puffy sleeve. Oh, I got it. I got it. See, that look like a puffy sleeve on there, right? I think I'll get this one in too. Let's go. I might have to add a little glue on this one. Oh, got it, got it. What's that tool? This is a bead reamer. You can get that at any craft store, maybe even at Walmart. Look by the um by the beads by like jewelry. It's a bead reamer. It just helps open up. Like sometimes some of the beads have some stuff in it. You can just put it on and it cleans that out. It's really extra sharp though. It, it pokes it and it hurts when it pokes. So it's extra sharp. Um, or at least mine is. It was a cheap one. You could probably get it at the Dollar Tree too. Mine, no, mine was really, really cheap. All right, let's put another one of these. In. I love that bead on here. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's do one of these and then we'll finish it off, I think. Thank you, Diane. There we go. That, let me just see. Do I need, I think I need another one. That. So you just want them to look the same. And then the legs you can do different for them too. That and we need another one of these. It is honestly it's easy. Michael's I got a huge bead tassel and it was one wood and one with crystals after Christmas. So, uh, and are you taking that apart to use? Is that what you're doing? You know what somebody else did to get beads? Is they saw like in the Walmart clearance section, you know those beaded car seats where it's all beads? They found one of them in the clearance section at Walmart and they bought that and took it apart. It was like dirt cheap and you had tons of beads. All right, so we got the arms done. Now we can add the dresses on and then we'll do the, the legs. Okay, and we don't want to tie a knot in the arms yet because we have to make sure we have enough space to get that dress here. Oh, that's awesome, Ginny. All right, I got all kinds of jute on this black. Okay, so just gather up this top. 
gather it up nice and tight like that okay and that's why I said when I did the blue one I did it at 10 inches wide it almost was a little too big I didn't gathering it was it went a little too far around the body for me the from what I wanted okay honestly I should have let it out from the front but it's okay I could pull a string out on each side, but then we're going to have an extra wide edging. I wanted this not to turn out, but you're not going to see it. Okay, so we're just going to dress her. We're going to put her inside here, and it's going to go around all these strands, okay? And then we'll pull the arms out in a second. You just want to make sure, get this dress in here. Don't get the top bead in, um, don't get the top bead. I just want to see where I'm going. Okay, so again, it's right on, it's like you're tying it right around its neck. You're going to gather it nice and tight when you get it to tie it. Make sure those top beads aren't inside of this tie. Pull it nice and tight like that. And we're going to tie it off. And the arms are going to come out on the sides, and we're going to end up gluing that on the sides. Okay. So now's where you're going to you can untie you can cut this as long as you got it tied tight. Now we're going to get these arms in place. So to do it, I glue this top bead right to the dress. Make sure he's pulled down in there. She is. Do you hear my wind chimes? Okay, I'm just gonna hold that on there. What size bead is for the hat? Okay, when I measured it before, it did not have, I don't have it on the package, but it was about a 5 8 inch it looked like when I measured it. You just have to make sure that it has this large hole so that you can fit enough of the, um, jute through it. All right, so let's get this one glued up on here. And try and be careful so you're not getting the glue to the front of it so you don't see the glue. Oh, you could do so many things with them, Carla. You could do so many things. You could do a little visor hat. So you could do a hat um, and have that sticking out of the hat, right? There, there's just so many things you could do with these. That's why they're just so fun and you can make them each have their own little personality. Okay, I just want to make sure that's really glued on there tight. I do also then pull that down, make sure that hat is down and we're going to do a little bit of glue just down in here. To hold that head in place then. That way that's not going anywhere either. Just pull her down on there. Okay, and then we're going to tie these arms off. We're just going to tie a knot and get it right down by that last one. Is that just regular jute? Yeah, the, the jute that I'm using is probably, I it it's three ply, I believe, is what it is. It's a little bit thicker, but when I undid it, it was three plies. So I think you can, I know for sure you get this at Hobby Lobby. I think you could probably get it at Walmart. I mean, Walmart has thinner also, um, but 
if you get smaller, so you just put more strands through and then you can cut some of the strands once you get them inside of here just leave two dangling for the legs and you can cut the other ones so and that would be a really full head of hair even if you didn't want to use this for hair you could do sort of the same thing and you then do some fun hair on there you know whatever's going to work you're welcome sue okay so i'm just tying these off and making sure that I get that knot right down by the by the hands. I'm cute. All right, and then we're gonna leave about probably about a half inch on each side. Okay, so on on this one. Let's see if I have other red here. So I could take if I wanted, like on. Oh, I didn't even finish dressing this one up. I thought I put something on here on this one. I didn't. I left her left her just hanging there. Um, but you could put something around here. So we'll do that. Let's finish dressing this one and then we'll finish decorating. But just look at it. And then we'll put the legs on too. Look at how cute that is and how quick it goes together. Okay, again, just gather this up. Nice and tight. and flip her over let's get that dress on that side and again that's why I don't tie the arms off first is because you want to be able to get this fabric up above those arms and really tighten it on there then and you don't want a real real thick fabric to do this All right, let's just I just want to gather that a little more because the thicker the fabric, the harder that will be then to get it to lay nice. Or if you use thicker, then you have to use probably less than nine inches. Okay, I'm just tying it nice and tight. She's going to be cute too. Where did you get the magnets? You can get them at Walmart. Now you have to be careful. I did notice, so you don't need very strong magnets. I had magnets last year from somewhere, probably Walmart too, um, that were so strong that if you put them on a fridge, they probably would scratch it when you move them. But the magnets I get, uh, I got, I'll show you. There's just these small magnetic button ones. Um, I have to use two of them on here to hold them in place though because they're not that strong. But I'd rather have them not strong and not have them scratch. Okay, so let's just get these arms where they need to go. Yeah, Carla, they're, just watch the replay. It's real easy to make these. And I'll show you, stick on Carla, because I'll show you two other ones that I did if you weren't on when I showed you these other two earlier. Yeah, so they may be, these maybe are honestly Walmart magnets, but I'm okay using two of them and they're not that strong. Like I said, I got one that I used on something and they honestly were would have scratched the surface. So they were too strong, and those were probably from Hobby Lobby. They were just too strong. Okay, let's get this one where it needs to be. Okay, and try not to get it on the may uh, on the front of the bead because you'll see that. Get that. That's why you leave that loose so that you can put that pull that bead out some and then we'll tie it after do you love this one and she's going to look they're going to look different yeah because we're going to tie it together we're going to add a little tie to it we'll decorate the hair a little bit you could put you could put just so many fun things you could braid it okay so let's do let's string everywhere just tie these hands on. Thank you, June. 
Magnus at Dollar Tree too, Debbie? There you go. And I'm sure, honestly, these probably were not that much at Walmart either. Honestly, they probably weren't. Okay, we have that one. This would be fun. I think this one I'm going to tie together and it's going to hold a button, a fun button. Pigtails, yes, that would be cute. Honestly, so I think this one, I'm going to tie these hands together. I'm going to tie the hands together on this one, maybe. We'll see what button we have. I'm going to leave the hands. Well, this one I cut short already. This would be the one I'd have to tie together. And maybe we'll put a fun button on it. We'll just let it for now. Okay. So you can decorate these whatever way you want. All right. Let's get the legs done. Well, let's do the, let's do the tie. So um, this one, I'm going to use Jude on the tie just because I think... Um, let me just see. I think it really works with it. The other option would be you could use, if I wanted, I could take this. That would be sort of cute too, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe I do that. I could put that up there. Um, what other colors are in here? This would have been, oh, this would have been so pretty at the bottom of this. I didn't see it soon enough. The green one, because it'll stand out more right. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to pull it a little bit tight when I'm doing it so that it makes it a little more fitted. Okay, and I didn't pull and glue this head in here either. Okay. Just let that dry a second. It makes it look like an outfit, right? tie your hair up all oh, the hair up like that and that's what like this one i did i did that with it i used the same i did i don't know bandana is that what somebody said it was okay and we're gonna wrap this around a little bit tight There's a start. Let's get that out of my way. I don't need that anymore. Um, you know, the other thing is this would have been cute too. You could put a trim at the bottom of this yet. You could put a little trimming. That could be really cute too. Let's just peek. It's getting late. I really shouldn't. Yeah, I could put that trim at the bottom. I think I won't because I did put the trim on here. Okay, so we'll leave that trim off. Let's just leave her like this and let's do the legs. Or let's let's do this one. Let's finish this one. So this one we could use, um, we could use embroidery floss to wrap around, but I do think we should want something red on here. See what else have we got here. What we could do? Let's look about what we got in here that's white. Oh, no, not really. Do you like that? I think that red makes it pop. I wanted to do something a little different though than the la than the other one. I think we got to do red. 
Yeah, I think we have to do red. And so what I'll probably do is use some of that embroidery floss. So I have white too, but I don't think that's good either. I think we need to do the red. We could do embroidery floss. Let's try that. Otherwise, we're going to do that Rick Rack. I wanted them to all look a little different though. Let's just take this and we're going to wrap it like I did the jute. Keep that piece out of the way so I have something to tie it with. I'm going to make it like look like a little belt. Yeah, it definitely needed red. I wish I had, you know. I thought I had like a red gingham up here. We're going to make it pop with a button too. Thanks for all those hearts. Okay, I think that's enough. If you don't like it after you do it, you can just cut it off. Yeah, I do think it needed the red too. It just didn't pop otherwise. Okay, get that out of the way. All right, let's get their legs done and then we'll do something with their hair. This one just has so much jute on it. All right, let's finish their legs up. We'll just start. It. I mean, the legs honestly don't need to be that much. Let's start with these. And you don't have to put it all the way up to the top. I mean, you got a lot of space there, but you don't have to do that. You can start down here farther. And if you end up where you have thinner jute, uh, just use more strands and cut some of those strands off up inside of here so that you don't have multiple legs. You only need two, right? Can you be picking shears and go around? Oh, that would be cute too. Yeah, there'd be so many. There's just so many things you could do with it. All right, let's do that. Let's. Um, let's see if I can't get it through here. This is like a leg I used on a, on the other one. Down here, long legs. Okay. Um, let's do another. One. Yeah, pinking shears would be really cute along the bottom edge too. That definitely would be cute too. All right, and let's, so I think that's probably long enough. Let's just add on the feet legs, the, the ones I use for the hands. just tie a knot. I'm going to slide that up just to give me room to tie that knot. Thank you, Sue. And I'm just going to do it loose for now um, so that I can always slide it up. Hello, Joyce from Indiana. Okay, that's a little high. Okay, 
let's see where where they end up yeah that's a good length that's a good length okay so we'll just tighten this knot a little more and leave about a half an inch so we can untwist that let's get this one's legs done uh, let's do different let's start with these You could absolutely sell them as a craft absolutely and you know honestly that's where I was saying too at the beginning like gifts I mean who wouldn't love these so yeah maybe I'll make a bunch of them and put them in my Etsy shop they're just they're just so fun they're so fun um, oops I think I need one we're just gonna put one on each leg but yeah make them make them like I said put it put pictures on crafty servings crafting club of the ones you make I would love to see them and I know Kathy on here would love to see them okay we got that let's go with um I did those legs let's do let's do more of these brown ones and we'll end with the light brown. We're going to do all brown. Again, I want to make each one look a little different. Why did you get all the different beads? Um, honestly, Debbie, the, okay, so these beads here, these brown ones were probably like in a really big container at Walmart I believe I got them from with all different sizes these that I'm using for the beat they're called beehive unfinished I, I don't know maybe maybe Hobby Lobby um, maybe Hobby Lobby you just have to make sure that when you're looking for the beads that you're getting beads that have the big enough hole in to fit the string through okay that is the one thing that you have to to watch is that it's big enough for the jute I did paint the faces at the beginning. They were they were easy to paint. Um, I said, look at this face, and then so I painted. Honestly, I painted the eyes. This one I painted eyes and eyebrows, and I did blush for the cheeks and just a little dot of white paint on them, and I did blue eyeshadow above the eyes. Um, so. Honestly, it was just a little bit of black. And I used, if you watch at the beginning, I used a stylus pretty well to start. Um, I do, it did end up switching to a brush because I, I find it easier with a brush, but you might find it easier with a stylus or um, a toothpick or something to start with dots or something. But like I said, if you make a mistake on one side of the bead, turn it around. You'll see that on these. So this was one I made. If you see the backside, it was a face that I didn't like. It was me practicing. So you can turn it around. Oh, thank you, Jody. These are just fun. They're just fun. All right. We can get all these beads out of our way. Let's just push them over. This one is fun. Look at those legs. Look at those legs. All right. Let's just tie that knot down here. Um, paint, acrylic paint, white deco art, and black deco art, lamp black. That's all I used. And then blush, I just used my blush. I just used some of my blush, and I used... Um, blue eyeshadow and I just used a little 
brush for the eyeshadow. It was nothing perfect. It just honestly just added a hint of blue at the above the eyes. It's almost like a unibrown with the blue. Again, the easiest way to tie these off at the bottom is slide those beads up a little bit because it gives you some room. And then try and see if you can get them the same where that knot ends. That's cute, that's cute, cute, cute. All right, so this one. This one, the knot is got to go higher. Carolyn, I would love to see, Carol Ann, I would love to see pictures of a girl's craft night doing these. Get my video out. Make some on your own otherwise. And okay, that looks the same. Okay, and this one is the one I said I might put the hands together. We'll see what kind of button I might have to put in between. And then we got to do the hair yet. On them. Okay, so we just untwist the feet. This one I did cut the hands, so we're going to untwist the hands. There's so many things you could, if you had a little wood heart, um, you could put on... The one I had a button up by the hair. The other one I had a button on the sash. Okay, I'm doing this one yet. Use wire for e for ears. And you know what? Honestly, Jody, that's what I was going to do tonight, actually, too. And I didn't have time to do it before I came on. Is do maybe ears to pretend to have an Easter bunny. Um, you could do wings. You could do removable parts on them. Honestly, you could do removable parts. So it, it you just could do so much. All right, so this one, let's just do, I think we're gonna go with that. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of this black extra down here for the hair Betty Boop you're right okay so we're going to use some of this up in the hair and I might tie it with the red again. We'll just make a cute little, you know, this one would be good though with like that sash. Okay, so this one I did, like I did it around the back and then did it up in the front like that. This one I just did a little bow. Um, this one would be really cute with that sash too though. We're going to do that. We're going to do the sash on here. I'll just show you how I did it. I just glued it. So make sure it's long enough. Make sure it's long enough. And we'll cut part of it off. And I just glued it down on the back of the head. Thank you, Arlene. Just put a little dab of glue back here. We'll let that set up. Okay, let's do this one. Um, what should we do on her? It'd be fun, something, something fun on her. What should we do on this one? On the, on the, for the hair. We could probably just do a regular bow on it if we want. Okay, so this one, 
I'm going to bring it up. I, I glued it on the back. I'm going to bring it up and just do a little tie up on top like I did that other one. So let's just cut some of this off. Just going to tie it. This is going to be cute. We have a newbie on here. Welcome, Tammy. Let's just get this tied. Now this I end up gluing because I didn't don't want that big of a knot. I'm just going to try and tie this over here. Get that over here. We'll cut some of that off. We'll end up gluing some of this down in here too. So it stays put. Where's her face? I lost her face. Oh boy, this jute is really getting to me, ladies. All right, and then we're going to trim this. I'm just dovetailing a little. Ooh, I almost cut her hair. I did cut a little of her hair. Read my latest comment. Um, read my latest comment. Caroline, 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 Michelle, you can paint the black and red one. This is the one where I think I want to do, yeah, the lips, um, the red lips. I said I would go get paint black and red when lips as upside down heart. Yes, that's, I was going to go get it and I thought even a dot, but yeah, I could do the upside down heart would be really cute too. I was going to go and get the, the red paint. Um, if you guys want, when I'm done with this, let me get a little red button. I'm sure in all my buttons, I'm going to find a little red one. Oh, this is sort of cute though. That's too big though. You know, if I didn't want to put one up on top, this little red and black one here would be really cute. Oh, I know what I might have. That would be really cute on there too. Let's um let's get my stash up here. I know I have a little one, a little red in here. It's a whole bag. Somebody sent me some, some red. Uh, we could put a cardinal. I have a red cardinal. Somebody sent me some of these. Yeah, that red and black one is really cute too, but I think I can get a little red one out of here. These are almost too big though. I need something, something, something. Maybe if we put a little white one on the top. I know we're gonna see one. I see it, I see it, I see it. I lost it. Thought that was pink. All right, we might have to defer on the button until I can find um that would be pretty cute. How can I not have red? Has anybody ordering from my Etsy shop? I've been trying to remember to put a button in each one too. In every package, I've been trying. They might fall out. 
Um, all right, I might have to defer on that. I actually have a bag in here, a black too. Let's see if there's something in here. These might be too big too. Oh, that's too much. You wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see it. All right, I'm going to defer on the button on that one. Let's get this one done so we get done. You've got a red button in my lap. you got a red button. I know, Vicki, I sent a red button out to someone. I know I did, and I sent a teal out. All right, let's do this one. Um, you got ideas what you want me to put on this one? Let me just see what kind of ribbons we got in here. This is my brown stash of ribbon. Anyone see that? You guys got some ideas? You got a purple one? See, I, oh, that's awesome. Like I said, I didn't know if anybody would even notice them because sometimes they probably would fall down in the package. And if you didn't look for them, um, you maybe wouldn't find them. Oh, I know what I was going to do too. Here. I was going to give her a little necklace. I don't like that. Okay, let's get, let's just do, let me just see what else I have in here. All right, so what? Okay, look at cute stuff. Right, awesome. You got a button too, Robin. Awesome. Do you have a sunflower? Um, you know what? You know what? For this one, I'm gonna have I have these little retro kind of buttons. I've got a little button for on this one. Actually, let's see. Where's that teal? That one will go with this. I'm going to do a jute bow with this one, and we're going to do this teal button, and then we're going to find, oh, a sunflower, you mean on the black and white one? All right, let's do a cute, just a quick little jute bow. Um, Just wrap it around my fingers. How did you make them out of? Tammy, I'm not sure. It cut off there. How did I make them out of what? Are you talking these dolls? They're jute fabric and beads. Honestly, that's that's all they are. Jute fabric and beads. So I'll show you. I have two that I made before, and I have these two here. And um, let's see, I want to get these out of here. That's going to be cute. All right, let's get this one on here. Yeah, it's jute fabric and beads. So you have to watch from the beginning to see what, what I did with them. It was not hard. Well, and yeah, jute fabric and beads and then just a little paint for the faces, paint and makeup. I used makeup. Hot, hot, hot. These buttons are all different fun looking little buttons from um, Amazon that I got. Vintage looking buttons. This, one, this color is perfect for on here. Okay, and then we have to decide. I'm going to tie her hands together. 
thank you. And I have a little heart that I can always put on here, like a wood heart that I'll be able to put on here. But I'm not going to cut it off right now yet, but um, well, actually, it would be fun with a big retro button too. It might almost be too much though. That would have been a fun idea if I didn't put it in her hair, if I didn't put already one in her hair. So I'm probably going to end up putting a heart on there, but I got that downstairs. I'm not going to run and get it. Let's finish her up. Um, see what's in here. What this one actually would be sort of cute on there. That one would be pretty cute now that I'm dumping out all my buttons. Um, I have a heart that a heart I could put at the bottom, too big. Um, oh, I know, I have one other bag in here to look at. Yeah, and the sunflower I have just is not bright enough. I think this one will be cute and then we're going to be done. Put the heart on the jute and let it dangle down. Yeah, that would be really cute. I am going to, like I said, I'm going to um, do that. And I, yeah, I might even just end up letting that dangle, undo it. Uh, let's put this up on her hair. I still, I'm, I'm not sold on this. I'm going to find something else for her hair. I'm not going to keep you guys on here because it's painfully long it's getting for y'all um <laughs> a huge mess here and i work in the morning i get up at 4 30. so let me show you let me show you and i'll do random act kind of drawing all right so these are the two i made tonight and then i'll show you the other two so this is the one i made i have to put something on her hair yet okay and i may end up putting um something a little bit something something on her dress too oh. Look at this would have been so cute. That's too much on her head. That that teal is perfect though. Perfect. <gasps> Look at this on her dress or on Oh gosh. This is like the perfect color. This shoe, isn't it? You see that? Cute, cute. All right, so those are the two I have. We're going to finish them after, right? The shoe. <laughs> All right, this is one that I did yesterday. Oh, and we still have to put the magnets on. So I'll be putting magnets. We're just going to glue two magnets on the back of each one. Okay. This is one I, um, oh, I did take. So this is one I did 